Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. We'll watch the Chicago Bulls in this one as they go up against the Utah Jams. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Coach Mike Vertello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. At this point, Mike, how much do you know about your team as a coaching staff? How many tweaks can be made in what you've got in front of you? Most coaches know what their fate is going to be at this point. Are we contenders? Can we make the playoffs? They know what needs to happen for these goals to be obtained. Right. Now, here's Stockton. Coming off a stellar performance against Milwaukee. Yep, that one goes. Boy, I love watching Stockton share the ball. He does it with such a plum. He's unselfish and always looking for the open man. Here's Pippen. Car right inside. Back to Paxson. Lock at six. Edwards looking it over. Malone outside. Stockton with it. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. The shot's good from Eaton. Boy, how about the confidence? I love watching him be that assertive down low. And pin the blame on the defense there. You can't just give him an open layup. Now, here's Jordan. And get a load of his scoring totals. Huge numbers for him. An average of just about 29 points a game. It's Jordan on the wing. Guarded by Malone. A nice shot by Jordan. Well, you take a look at that jump shot of Jordan's effortless and impeccable in its mechanics. Stockton outside. Passes to Malone. Jordan against Malone. Puts one up from 19. The shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. This is their first chance to take a look at the Jazz this season. They won both of their meetings last season. You love to pull that off against another powerhouse team. Well, we'll find out. Such talent on the floor tonight on each side of the matchup. There's some conference pride at stake, too, with both teams being among the cream of the crop in the East and the West. And Utah has possession. After the Bulls pick up two. Malone. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, Malone is just so strong. Even when he gets hit, he stays with the shot nicely. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And Malone, no good on that one. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Trailing by two. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. They came in with a really good game plan and executed on it. I thought they were really tenacious on offense. And they managed to do it in front of a hostile crowd. Easier said than done. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send it to the line than allow an easy layup. Purdue is checked in for Chicago. And Edwards drops them both. And here's Paxson. Outside Jordan. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Paxson outside. And it's good, assisting on the play was Jordan. Finding a shot and sinking it. Paxson can be so effective in range. Stockton looking around. Malone sets the pick for Stockton. Malone outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Screen by Malone from downtown. And it's Malone missing. Utah comes into this one after the win against Milwaukee. Stockton passes to Malone. Back to Stockton. Outside Edwards. Malone with the screen. 
Wide at the free throw line. Edwards, that's good. Edwards got six. Soft leaner with no one there to contest. Probably made it more difficult than he had to. Purdue with a screen on Malone. Jordan inside. Malone on him. Pippen with a wide open look. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Utah leading by three. Malone in the post. He's guarded by Purdue. Oh, the big man. Put some extra spice on that one. Malone with the explosive jam. Chicago's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Paxson passes to Jordan. Purdue the screen. Utah with the rebound. You rarely see him missing dunks, but the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. Stockton outside. Malone sets the pick for Stockton. Pass to Malone. Just five to shoot. That's good. And a nice assist from Stockton. John Stockton. Stockton's got three assists now in this one. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. Mm, you're right. Grant with a screen on Malone. To the paint. Stolen by Stockton. Outside, Malone. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Jazz. And they double up Jordan. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Pippen can't hit. And so Stockton will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Nine-point game. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Shot selection was the key for them in that last game, in my opinion. We'll see if they can replicate that level of discipline going forward. You know Coach wants him to. Chicago calls timeout. Kings check in for the Bulls. Armstrong comes in for John Paxson. And a moment here to see the standings for the Eastern Conference. And you know, guys, some interesting stories have unfolded here as we move through the middle of the season. A look at Chicago. They're looking extremely sharp right now, poised in the top spot and playing very well. Pippen, the pass to Armstrong. And they double up Jordan. Scoring his third straight basket in three tries. Smooth as silk. MJ with one of the best pull-up jumpers you'll ever see. Here's Murdoch. He's covered by Armstrong. Murdoch passes to Bailey. Over to the left wing. Here's Murdoch. Grant gets the rebound. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. And Jordan slams it home. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. Jazz leading by seven. One nineteen left here in the opening quarter. Now the pass to Austin. Here's Bailey. Shoots over Pippen. And the basket by Bailey. And the Jazz lead by nine. Taking full advantage of his height that time to get the shot off over the defense. And even if you're right on him, that's a difficult shot to contest. Short. Utah Chicago making some changes. Williams is checked in for Grant. And Livingston subbed in for Pippen. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Jordan. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. You know, because Jordan is so spectacular, sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked. And he keeps it simple. Why get fancy when the pick and roll works like that? Here's Bailey. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Now here's Crowder. Shot clock at six. 
Pass to Murdoch. From deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Now here's Jordan. Coming off a solid outing against Miami. That will count. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Jazz lead by seven. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from the Jazz so far, what's your take? Out of the gates, love the way they've moved the ball with confidence and conviction. Absolutely. Purposeful passing from them, piling up those assists. Here's Armstrong. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Boy, oh, good job that time by King to take the contact and maintain his balance. And Mike, with television more present than ever in day-to-day -day lives, the NBA continues to grow within that medium. Networks have started vying for NBA rights. Even the NBA draft is televised for the last few years. The sport is definitely growing along with TV. Edwards, he's checked in for the Jazz. Filling the role of a traditional center, King is a competent rebounder and defender. Plus, he is sturdy. Stockton against Paxson. Here's Murdoch. Eight points his last outing. He tried to get space with the fadeaway, but it might have just disrupted his shot even more. To the wing right side. Paxson passes to Williams. And stolen by Stockton. Last break, here come the Jazz. Pulls up. Here's Murdoch. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Murdoch's got his first points of the game. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Here's Armstrong. Good on the three-point shot. Armstrong's got his first three points of the game. A strong shooter from distance. Armstrong unafraid to fire away. Here's Murdoch. He's covered by Armstrong. Stockton's shot is off. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Picked by Williams. Now Armstrong. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Four on the shot clock. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Malone. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for Utah. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Here's the screen. Passes it to Bailey. That's good from 17 feet away. Bailey's got his second basket of the night. Well, we know he's got great peripheral and court vision, and he's passing the ball tonight extremely well. Yeah, he's keeping everyone involved and making life much easier for his teammates. Here is Armstrong. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. The defense going hard at Armstrong, but he's not backing up and ends up earning the foul call. For Chicago, they have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. And that one misses. You know, you can't give him any room to shoot the three ball when you talk about B.J. Armstrong. He is a lethal three-point shooter. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Cartwright's checked in for King. Pippen comes in for Livingston. And Jordan subbed in for Paxson. Now, here's Malone. He picked up 18 points in the last win against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Also, a great job passing the ball. Clearly, they ran everything through him. 
And it's off the back rim. No good. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. Spins. And that's a foul called on John Stockton. That is his first foul of the game. They've been undisciplined defensively, getting themselves into foul trouble far too early. Now here's Jordan. He's got 10. And the Bulls with another miss. Utah leading by four. Here's Malone. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Malone, an outstanding passer at the power forward position. He's got really good floor awareness and has a really good understanding of when to get the ball to the open man. Jordan against Malone. Up top, Jordan. Top of the key jumper, no good. Jazz have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Here's Malone. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You look at Utah. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Pippen down low. Edwards there. Pippen kicks to Armstrong. Outside Jordan. Pick by Cartwright. Goes up from the top of the key. Rebounded by the Jazz. And here's the fast break. Malone leading the way. Bucket is good. And now it's a 10-point Utah lead. Trying to extend this lead. Actually, they're doing more than trying because the lead is growing. This is a key part of the game. They're trying to get some breathing room. Now here's Pippen. Eight points his last outing. Pass to Williams. Michael Jordan on the wing. Guarded by Malone. Jazz leading by 10. Outside Edwards. This is to Stockton. Malone sets the pick for Stockton. Five to shoot. Malone. So for the Bulls, Grant comes in for Williams, and it's Maxson in for Armstrong, and Utah making a change here. The Bulls have gone only two of seven for the field since the second quarter got underway. For three, Paxson, that drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Paxson's got six points. You better run Paxson off his shot, or he'll make you pay. Paxson against Stockton. Shoots from 14. The shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Paxson outside. Releases. Misses off the left iron. Jazz leading by seven. Malone looking around. Got a piece of it. Jordan with the ball. Picked up by Malone. Pippen, the pass to Paxson. Pippen down low. Defended by Crowder. You know, Pippen is about 6'8", but he's got the wingspan of a condor using that reach to corral that rebound. Jazz have gone 5-12 from the field here in the second. Here's Stockton. He kicks to Austin. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, if you want the mid-range, it's normally there. Bulls trail by seven. Pippen outside. Again, Chicago. This is a shot Pippen is very comfortable with. He's extremely effective in the mid-range. 133 left in the first half. Home on. That one misses. So the Bulls will take it the other way. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Grant sets a screen for Jordan. It's rebounded by Austin. His shooting has just dropped off in this quarter. He needs to rediscover his rhythm. Stocked in dishes to Malone. One 
102 left in the first half of the game. Six to shoot. Stockton passes to Malone. And a miss there on the triple. Chicago trailing here. Here's Jordan. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! Come on now. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. Stockton against Paxi. Stockton passes to Austin. Back to Stockton. Brown sets a screen for Stockton. Another miss by Utah. Well, Chicago has gone two or three with a step beyond the arc in the second quarter. In the open floor, few are better than Jordan. MJ can literally fly. And now, here's Pippen with the fast break chance. Outside for Jordan. Fades. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Utah out in front, up by one. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Boy, excellent first half. Living at the rim so far. Some monster dunks. They'll need to find a way to slow them down, if they can. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Paxson kicks to Jordan. Back to Paxson for the lead. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got his third assist on the night. Stockton against Paxson. Stockton passes to Malone. Outside Malone. They get it back. The shot's good from Eaton. Eaton's got it all tied up now for Utah. This is what he brings to your team. The ability to turn misses into makes. Pile up second chance points. Paxson outside. Launches a three. And the Bulls another three. He's letting it fly from downtown. And you can see the confidence is obvious when he shoots the three ball. And that's part of what makes him such an outstanding shooter. Yeah, no question. And I don't understand why the defense hasn't adjusted and tried to chase him off the line. Here's Malone. Following the three-point basket by Chicago. Great defense. Plus in the tough shot. Getting a hand up on him is a must. Count it. Good. Texans got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now here's Malone. Six points for him. And another shot. And at last, they get one to fall. Malone's got eight. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second-chance looks. Here's Jordan. 14 points for him. Shoots over Malone. And the Bulls tack on two more. A complete guard. Jordan can beat you in so many different ways. And the pass to Malone. From 18 feet away. That's good. And a nice assist from Stockton. Stockton's got his eighth assist in the game. Malone against Jordan. For three, Paxson. A rebound by the Jams. And got to be honest here. I mean, he should have made that. I bet it's not going to affect his confidence, though. He's going to keep taking those shots. In the corner, it's Stockton. Malone, a screen on Paxson. Here's Stockton. Stolen by Grant. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the... Make oh, no doubt wow. about it. I'm loving it.
Landon. What a throw down. The Jazz with the timeout. Boy, outstanding ball movement from Paxson there, showing a willingness to involve his teammates. Utah calls timeout. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Purdue is checked in for Cartwright. Williams comes in for Grant. Armstrong's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Pippen subbed in for Paxson. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Here's Murdoch, defended by Pippen. Edwards passes to Murdoch. Just five on the clock. Now the dish to Malone. Shoots over Pippen. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. From six away. Armstrong passes to Pippen. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. And now a seven-point Bulls lead. That's Armstrong playing his main role, distributor. And another great look at the 2K drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. It's Edwards on the wing. Here's Murdoch, defended by Pippen, to the inside. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And not sure what he was thinking there. Kicks to Armstrong. From past the arc, a rebound by the Jams. Eaton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Here's Murdoch. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Edwards passes to Eaton. Malone trying to break three, and Eaton gets it to go. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Bulls leading by five. Pippen with it. He has six. Pulls it up, and the Bulls tack on two more. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Here's Murdoch, defended by Pippen. Pass to Bailey. There's the double team with Pippen. Here's Murdoch. Over Williams. And it's Murdoch missing. That's not a bad look. He missed that chance, but he'll get them to fall if he gets space like that. Williams sets a screen for Pippen. It's good from long range. Pippen's got the lead up to 10 now for the Bulls. Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc, dropping bomb after bomb. And who can blame them? When you're hitting like this, you got to just keep it going. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. <laughs> Chicago making a switch here. Kings checked in. Brown is checked in for the Jazz. Austin comes in for Malone. Jazz trail by 10. Here's Murdoch with the drive. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Murdoch's got his second bucket tonight. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake, then flips it in. 
And here's Pippen, 11 points in the game. Pippen is doubled. It's hauled in by Brown. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Jazz have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Here's Murdoch, defended by Pippen. Outside Edwards, pass to Austin. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for Chicago to the middle. Here's Murdoch. He's guarded by Williams. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Jordan's checked in for Scotty Pippen. And Utah also making a switch. Malone's checked in for Edwards. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 114 left in the third quarter. Here's Jordan. And then Jordan slams it in. Love when MJ finishes with strength, leaving no room for error with the slam. Jazz trail by eight. Here's Murdoch. He has six. Out left to the wing. Brown with a screen on Armstrong. Just four to shoot. Murdoch. And it goes down two points. Murdoch's got six points in the quarter. And Mike, they have a chance to go two for one here. You just need to get a shot off relatively quickly. Jordan against Malone. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 22. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by Jordan. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. For Utah, they've gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Malone in the post. He's against Jordan. Malone, no luck. Now, here is Jordan. 22 points for him. What a shot to beat the buzzer, and that's how you gain momentum. Yeah, that kind of a shot always energizes a team, and they'll look to build off of it going into the next quarter. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen. For the fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Jazz trail by 10. Stockton outside. He feeds it to Malone. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. The mailman delivering the night door to door style. Malone asserting himself well on the offensive end. Now here's Jordan. Wide open look. And the shot is long. That's normally one of his spots. And it was a quality look. Shame to see it go to waste. Stockton's shot is off. Bulls leading by eight. Jordan inside. He's defended by Stockton. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. Michael Jordan. Two shots. And the first one drops. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. Pippen's checked in for Chicago. And both free throws good for Jordan. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. Jazz trail by 10. 
Stockton outside. Pass to Malone. Malone has doubled. Shot from the top of the key. They get it back. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. And he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Pippen. When Eaton is aggressively looking to score, he's hard to challenge without fouling. And the first one at the line is good. Cartwright's checked in for the Bulls. Good on both. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute play. Malone against Jordan. The Bulls keep it alive. Here's Cartwright. Pippen outside. The second chance effort. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He's known as an elite defender. Pippen is also more than capable of shouldering the offense sometimes, too. Scotty Pippen taking two shots. He misses the free throw. Grant, he's checked in for the Bulls. Paxson comes in for Jordan. And he's good on the second. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Stockton outside. Malone a screen on Armstrong. Picks it out to Malone. Shot clock at five. Edwards dishes to Malone. And Grant sends it back. Great defense from the big man there. Grant positioning himself perfectly to get the block. Pippen against Stockton. Fade away. It's rebounded by Malone. Malone's got seven rebounds in the game. And there's the drive. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Grant's got four rebounds in this game. Knocked loose and stolen by Stockton. Here's Edwards. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Horace Grant. You know, the way he shot went so wide, it's pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. And so he makes both from the line. Chicago calls Chicago timeout. timeout call. Chicago making some changes. Bill Purdue's checked in for Cartwright. Livingston comes in for Scotty Pippen. And Jordan subbed in for Baxson. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, I listened in on Phil Jackson's huddle. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Thank you, David. And the Jazz with possession here. Following the three-point basket by Chicago. Malone finds Malone. The Jazz with another miss. The Bulls leading by 10. And the dunk by Jordan. Well, they had the opportunity to break, and man, did they have it. They took full advantage of it. I don't know how you feel about it, but in the NBA, fast break points decide games. Now, here's Malone. With nobody on him, he parries the jumper. Here's Armstrong. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And they double up Jordan. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. Fades and shoots. And the shot goes down. Jordan's got the lead up to 12 now for Chicago. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Now, here's Stockton. Inside. And Eaton gets it to go. 
Yes. Eaton's got four points now in the quarter. A wizard running that pick and roll. Here's Stockton, another assist. Now, Jordan. And they double up Jordan. And that's a foul called on John Stockton. That's foul number two for him. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away free points at the line. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for Purdue. Pippen comes in for Livingston. And it's Paxson in for B.J. Armstrong. Very physical play by Cartwright. Defense just doesn't want to get in the way. Stockton outside. Malone sets the pick for Stockton. Malone left side. Clock at four. That shot off. And the Bulls going the other way now. A drive by Jordan. Outside for Pippen. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And the Bulls lead by 15. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. Never let up. You don't want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one. Time call here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for Utah. Down by 15. On the wing, Stockton. Jordan against Malone. 20 feet out. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. The Bulls leading by 15. Jordan drives in. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it red the whole way, got himself in the position, and then was able to make the play. Jazz shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. They get a hand on it. He kicks it to Pippen. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Pippen so creative at drawing fouls. Just baits the defenders into fouling him so he can get to the line. At the line for two. Free throw good from Pippen. He hits both from the strike. Stockton with it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Malone a screen on Paxson. Stockton kicks to Malone. The basket is good. The assist from Stockton. Stockton's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Chicago leading by 15. Jordan in the corner. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Malone. Edwards inside. Hippin' on him. Edwards kicks to Malone. Malone sets the pick for Malone. Five on the clock. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And the officials call a traveling violation. This offseason, 10 teams making coaching changes, Mike, and uh, the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. Owners are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. 
So how would you approach a job? Uh, win now, or do you want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here, the way you could, as a coach, you know, go. I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager, and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes, up and down. When you walk out of the room, you say to yourself, I've got to win games right away. <laughs> Nothing to try and be opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year and the fans are impatient and the media is on you. They make a change rather than remember that long-term plan they talked about. Good insight. First one falls for Chicago making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Grant. Royal comes in for Pippen. And D.J. Armstrong has subbed in for Paxson. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 37 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. Personal foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Bulls making a change here. Hobson's checked in. Crowder feeling it out a bit. He dishes it to Austin. Drives to the hoop. Here's Murdoch. He's covered by Armstrong. Down to five on the shot clock. Stockton finds Brown. And the layup is good. I bet Coach loves to see this. Attacking the interior for a safer shot. Here is Armstrong. And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin. Boy, this was an exciting game for sure. Made extra special, Mike, by all of the noise from this home crowd. It was, it was deafening inside. Well, they knew their squad was feeding off of them, so they did all they could to push them out there. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our reporter, David Aldridge, Onga Clark Kellogg, and Mike Fratello, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.